What up guys and welcome to another CNFT market update video. In this video, I'm gonna cover the top 10 biggest movers this week when it comes to Cardano NFT volume, as well as go over some different things happening in the Cardano NFT market. But yeah guys, without further ado, let's get into it. First things first guys, how does the overall volume look when it comes to the Cardano NFT market? And pretty much guys, we have been hovering between this 300 and 500,000 ADA level for the past month. And that's pretty much the same situation in this past week as well. And to be honest with you guys, I don't really see us getting a huge pump when it comes to the Cardano NFT volume until we get into a lot more bullish sentiment in the overall market. If you watch my videos a decent amount, you'll know that NFTs are usually the last thing to run when things get very, very greedy. Whenever you start seeing Bitcoin pump a lot and then a lot of these different altcoins uh, and then these meme coins, which we're seeing now, uh, usually NFTs are going to come after that. So once we start seeing that whole entire crypto market get a lot more bullish, we should see a lot more volume come into the Cardano NFT space. Now, when it comes to just DeFi and TVL in general, it still has been going up. We're around that 480 million level, which is the highest TVL we have ever seen and also Icon uh, is basically going to allow developers to code on Cardano a lot easier, and I expect a lot of things to change sometime within the next three to six months. I think we're really going to see a lot more different dApps in this ecosystem, and I think we're just going to see a lot more volume in this ecosystem simply because it's going to be easier to code rather than needing to know Plutus. You now just need to know Icon, which is a lot easier. So yeah, that's kind of how the overall market is going, and when it comes to the top ranks in the market for this past week, we have Ape Society coming in at number one at a 5,300 floor. We then have Goofy Gophers at 658 a floor. Clean Nation had 177,000 volume in this past seven days. You then have Cardano Crocs Club at four, Or Mob, Alley Cats, and Mallard Order at five, six, and seven. Earth Node coming in at number eight. You then have the Cabins of Eight Society at nine. And to finish us off is Zesty Zebras at 10. Coming in at number one is no surprise, and that's the Ape Society. Ape Society is almost always at the top of the list, guys, and they have some of the largest sales consistently in the entire space. Now, the floor had actually dropped down to a 4,500 level about a week ago, but it looks like it bottomed out there, and now it's back up to 5,300 ADA. There's a couple things that happened with the Ape Society recently. Recently, the biggest one being Avatar Nick, who's the creator of Saturn and Mercury, and honestly, someone who I've talked to a lot and really believe is just an absolute G of a developer, uh, is basically the new CTO for the entire Ape Society. And what this means, guys, is he's going to be able to leverage Avatar Nick, as well as the new Icon uh, way to develop smart contracts on Cardano to really build out a lot of stuff for all of their different landmarks. So I think this is super bullish. Like I said, I've talked to Nick a lot. I even met him at NFT NYC, and I think he's really going to be able to, to develop a lot in this space for the Ape Society. So definitely pay attention. I still have my one ape that I'm staking. I haven't bought any more right now, but I think the Ape Society is one of the safer long-term plays in this entire ecosystem. The next project here is going to be the Goofy Gophers Mining Club. And this is a project I've been talking about a lot recently, simply because I've been impressed with how hard and how strong they've held their floor and just the low listing amount. They These absolutely skyrocketed all the way to the 700 ADA number, and now it's down to about 650, but the listings are getting higher. I do expect a little bit of a pullback simply because these mining rewards are further out, but I think this project just makes a lot of sense. You're getting all of these miners that should come in all within this next week. You're getting these different crypto rewards and then you're able to distribute it with everyone. And historically, guys, these miners are very cheap in bear markets like we're in right now. And then whenever there's a bull market, they absolutely skyrocket in price. So after talking to a lot of different people in the space, I do think getting into crypto mining is a good opportunity in general right now. And I think this was a good play on their part. Now, in my personal opinion, if you're looking for passive income, you might be better off getting into Indigo Protocol or some of these different DeFi's that I've covered and I'm going to cover more on the channel. But if you're looking for exposure specifically in passive income NFTs, I think that this is a really great long-term bet. 
Next project on the list is Clay Nation. And these guys actually dipped all the way down to about 1800 in the past week. And now they're back up to this 2100 ADA level with about 6% listed. Now Clay Nation is a project that I believe in long term. If you saw my top 10 video, uh, top 10 projects to hold in this bear market, this was one of those projects. Now they do have a decent amount of catalyst soon that has been taking a very long time to come out. One of those is their whole entire new triple farm uh, that just released where you can actually get additional rewards by pairing ADA with clay and I think the reason they're doing this guys is they want to incentivize liquidity because they expect a lot of exchanges or a lot of trades happening very soon with their token and the reason I think that is because they're talking about making their whole entire pants which is something you're going to be able to buy with the clay token as well as a bunch of different stuff for their actual pitches so I think there's a lot coming soon I'm still holding my clay token from all the way back I'm still up a decent amount right now just because I bought it well, I was literally one of the first purchases uh, because we had like a whole monitor set up in our group, but I've just been holding for a very long time now. And I think that once all these things finally come out, we could see a run on Clay Nation uh, token as well as their actual Clay Nations themselves. Now I am a little bit worried about their whole entire metaverse idea. I don't think a lot of these ideas really get that much traction or engagement, especially in a bear market. But I do think the catalyst of having all this stuff come out, especially since Clays have just been going down this whole time, could actually shoot up Clays during that time period with the Clay token, in my opinion, being a better buy because it should move up quicker than the actual NFTs themselves. Themselves. So something to pay attention to here. I'm thinking that this is going to be in the next month or two uh, based on what I'm seeing, but who knows guys. I mean, this was supposed to be a while ago now. Next project on the list is going to be your radioactive Crocs. And these have actually gone on a slight run recently. I think someone must have gone in and swept a decent amount of these. And potentially the reason, guys, is their whole entire swamp lands just came out. I think their swamp lands are broken down into three different types of land. Right now, the floor is around 35 ADA. And this whole entire swamp lands is going to be a gamified DAP experience where you're going to have a lot of different Web3 applications being built into their whole kind of metaverse type thing and what's cool about it is they're using their c4 token to basically incentivize people to build on their platform and one of their first products that you can already use c4 for is going to be a vpn service i think it's about 5,000 croc tokens per month but you can actually get a vpn service using your croc tokens and their whole goal is to leverage their developers as well as the community to incentivize people to build there and then basically have the c4 token be at the the juxtaposition juxtaposition. I don't even know why that word came to me, uh, but basically the juxtaposition, if that even makes sense, of everything they're doing. So pretty cool stuff. I own a couple Crocs. I like Asung a lot. Uh, I actually like the Crocs team a lot. Um, I haven't gone in and bought any more right now just because I'm not buying a lot of stuff in this market right now, in all honesty, guys, but it's something I'm paying attention to, and I think they're a good long-term hold. Next project here is going to be your Ore Mob. And this is another project that was about 450 and now 550. I see a lot of these top projects have had a slight bounce back up over this past week. And I think that's because people are getting out of some of these crazy mints that were happening and getting back into blue chips during this uncertain market. Now, Ore Mob, there isn't really much new that has come out. Uh, they released a little bit more of a lore and story update. And they keep talking about this encasing mint that's coming up soon. Uh, so pay attention to it. I don't, I think I only hold a couple of these right now. I do really like the art and the community and brand and IP and all of that stuff. But right now it's kind of in its boring phase. So maybe it's a good time to pay attention to it, but I'm kind of sidelining the project for now until I see more deliveries. Next thing here is Alley Cats. Once again, a project that went from around 150, 160, all the way back up to 215. I have no idea, guys, why it's gone on a recent boost. Maybe it hit its bottom and someone came in and swept it. Uh, no idea, I didn't see any announcements about it, but I do like the project overall, and I think for around 200 ADA, it could be a great speculative play. Uh, and once again, this was on my other video where I talked about 15 or 16 projects that could be good speculative plays that are more in this lower ADA level. So this could potentially be a great buy. Um, I still have like five of these. I haven't gone in and bought any more though. Next thing here is Mallard Order and they're going to be coming out with their whole entire Raiders Guild soon as well as Web2 business where they're making posters for all these different projects. Now, one thing that you guys should note 
is we're dealing with personal uh, Twitter API stuff on our end. And that's because Elon Musk with the Twitter API that used to be free said, hey guys, it's no longer free. And if you want to have a decent amount of requests, which Mallard Order would need, it's going to cost 42 grand a month. Uh, so it's complete BS. We are figuring out a workaround on our end. It's not perfect, but it could be a potential solution. And I think that that's what Mallard Order is doing right now. So that's why there's been these delays. Uh, you pretty much need a ton of requests for what they're specifically trying to do and without that enterprise solution that's 42 grand a month you can't do it uh, and now there's other ways of doing it but I think that's why there's been a delay on this and I think uh, you kind of just have to pay attention to see what they do next thing here is the earth node these are down to 60k ADA if you watch my video when these first came out these were going for around 100k ADA and I said hey guys I don't think now is a good time to buy you need to wait a little bit it's going to go lower in my opinion and now these are sitting at around 60k and this floor is starting to get thick I do see this actually going lower than where it's already at you don't really have any big offers in and some of these purchases are very very infrequent so I actually see these going down towards that 50k ADA level uh, maybe even a little bit lower. I do think that this is something to pay attention to for that potential passive income with World Mobile Token, but right now I think it's still too risky. I think those developments and that revenue are still very far away, and I think that you'd be better off putting your capital somewhere else right now. Cabins by the Ape Society was the ninth project on the list, and with these cabins, they pretty much always go up with the Ape Society, so that's kind of how it goes. Uh, now, what happens as far as Catalyst is whenever they have a landmark, one of these landmarks, landmarks are attached to a district with these cabins and usually that district will go on a big run uh, simply because you know what the landmark is right I personally don't own any of these besides just the one that I stake my ape in, and I think that's why most people own these. Uh, I personally don't think that this is what I would buy if I had around four or 500 ADA right now. I think there's different buys out there that are better. For example, I'd rather own uh, you know, three or four of their COTAS that I know is going to get direct benefits from these landmarks rather than buying one of these cabins and hoping that landmark in that district is actually great. That's just my personal opinion. The 10th project on the list was actually a new mint that came out recently and this is zesty zebras and they've had about 100k ada worth of volume and it's kind of crazy that 100k ada worth of volume gets you in the top uh 10 list uh for the week guys and that just kind of shows how low the volume is in the market right now now i look at these i don't really see anything too special i didn't really see anything too crazy on the white paper and roadmap so personally i'm not invested in it i'll keep an eye on it but i haven't bought any myself now going into a different theme of things, I did want to bring up a snake token, which is a meme token. And if you guys have been paying attention to the market, meme tokens have been going crazy recently because Pepe literally has gone to a $500 million market cap within a two week period. Now there were a couple of people in the BIG that actually talked about Pepe very early on. Uh, and some of those guys made a pretty significant amount of money. But the next thing here that blew up specifically on Cardano is the snake token. Now, this snake token come, came out yesterday, and it's already up 300%. And what's crazy, guys, is Goofy Crisp is the founder of this, and he's actually one of the alpha callers in the BIG Discord. So he pretty much told everyone in the group, hey, guys, we're launching this token. This is the pre-sale. Uh, check it out. This is exactly what we're doing. So a lot of members in our group actually bought into this token. And I think right now, if you bought in the pre-sale, you'd be pretty close to a 10x if you aren't at a 10x already so this has been going crazy it's all about this whole entire snake token which this snake comes from the chilled kongs is one of its traits and was very memeable and it's pretty much a meme coin now 90 percent of the supply is already circulating you had 40 percent go to the pre-sale that raised 110,000 ada that 110,000 ada was used as liquidity for the other 50 percent of tokens and then the remaining 10 percent of tokens are going to be not for the team but different incentives for the community so really interesting interesting stuff. This has pretty much just been skyrocketing. You've had some pullbacks in these different hours, but it just keeps going up. I don't personally own any right now. I was asleep during the pre-sale, unfortunately, because it wasn't good for US time. And then when it comes to this, I actually had tried just buying 500 ADA to say, screw it. But then my transaction didn't go through because it was pumping so much and I didn't even realize it. But yeah, definitely pay attention to this. I have no idea how much higher it's going to go. As far as meme coins go, I think this is the second best meme coin already when it comes to the Cardano ecosystem. Obviously, you have Hosky at the top. And then in my opinion, you have Snake. I have no idea where this is going to go right now as 
far as the fully diluted market cap, you're looking at 1.15 million eight already. So what, like $400,000 market cap. Uh, so that's a pretty decent amount. But I do think that there's a chance that this could go higher if they do deliver and if they can continue to market this thing. Now, just be aware, guys, that a lot of meme coins, there's a winner and there's a loser. It's very PF uh, player versus player. You're either going to get in and you're going to make money. And most of the time, those are the people that got down here very early. And that's why it's important to be in some sort of group that tells you about these different opportunities. But there's still a chance that this could continue to run. I personally think it's a little bit risky right now. Maybe the hype dies down after a week, or maybe this thing continues to run and it expands outside of the Cardano ecosystem because I do think SNEK or S-N-E-K, this whole snake idea is actually a pretty good meme coin idea. So yeah, keep an eye on it. And once again, join the block investment group or join some sort of alpha group out there that tells you about these opportunities, guys, because this opportunity alone could have made you a 10x in one day or a 5x even if you didn't get into the pre-sale. And it literally just comes from knowing people or being in different groups where this information is shared around. Now, next thing that I wanted to cover here is going to be the introverts. And I just wanted to bring these guys up because they are having a mint happening sometime in this month. Now, I haven't really been minting a lot of stuff because a lot of mints have been doing bad. And now is not that time to mint, guys. It's the time to get into projects you believe in or Cardano, DeFi, in my opinion, or the occasional meme coin like Snack, right? Now, when it comes to these introverts, there's going to be 1300 for 1,314 of these soul porters, soul portals, oh my gosh, that are coming out between May 18th and May 19th. It's only going to be 88 ADA for the public and for holders, it's going to be around 40 ADA. And for the masters in their discord, it's going to be 32 ADA. So pretty interesting stuff. It is mostly art, but you're going to be able to use these to unlock different trades, get different NFTs, et cetera, et cetera. And there's gonna be a couple drops of these soul portals throughout the year. Uh, I think that these are going to do relatively well. I think introverts is a great project and I think there's not that many of these soul portals. So I expect it to be profitable both short and long term. but realize guys, the market isn't good. And if you did want to try to mint this project, go on their discord and make sure to sign up for their application where you could potentially mint in the public. Talking about mints, there's another mint that I quickly wanted to cover and that is the Java Z clans of chaos. Now these Jabba Z's are from the Block Owls team and they actually look really cool in my opinion if you take a look at them. They have all these mechs that make different movements. They have all these different sounds. All of these foxes, which is kind of their new character are that are the enemy of the Block Owls. They all have different faces, different noises, different movements. Uh, and overall, they look really cool and every single one of these is unique. Now they just minted their whitelist phase. There's gonna be 6,400 of these Jabba Z's in total. 3200 in two different drops. Now the whitelist has already minted and it's going to go into the public and the public is like 270 ADA. So I personally think this is going to be a pretty slow mint out, uh, but it's something to pay attention to. And if you're a fan of the whole entire Block Owls ecosystem, maybe these will do really well in the future just based on their art. But I will say guys, this is gonna be a long-term hold. Don't expect this to be a quick sellout or a really quick pump up, but I do expect these to sell out. I just don't know how long that's going to take. Next project that I wanted to bring up here is the Zitaku Dragons. I hope I said that name right. Uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is this project has been going on an absolute run recently, and I've talked to Crypto Gonzo a decent amount about what their project is. Essentially, guys, you have all these different dragons, and they take the funds from selling these dragons, and they put it into a trading bot. Now, this trading bot does a lot of, like, uh, uh, Forex type trading, a lot of different arbitrage trades, and it's actually been performing very consistently over the long term with some months getting an average of 10%, even though I think the average is around 6%. So essentially they're taking all of the revenue generated, they're putting this into a bot, and then the revenue is then being distributed to everyone that owns these Zitaku Dragons. Now there is going to be another mint in the future. I think they're trying to sell another 2,222 if I remember correctly. 
correctly. And when that happens, it might be a decent opportunity to look into it. Now, there are a couple risks when it comes to this whole idea. What if the founders rug and take all the money? Or what if the bot uh, company, you know, takes all the money? Or what if the bot doesn't perform well and it has a big loss? Like there's different things to consider. Uh, but I do think that Crypto Gonzo's head is in the right place. He's a good founder that really cares about the project. And even though those risks are there, it's pretty interesting what they're doing. And it reminds me a lot about the Goofy Gophers. What's interesting with the Goofy Gophers, guys, is if I did my math right, if you bought at 500 ADA, your return on your investment after a year is around 16 to 17%. And that's if all things remain the same. What's really interesting about this though, guys, is April of 2024, there is a halving for Bitcoin where the reward for Bitcoin blocks is going to be halved, which means the amount of mining rewards is also going to be halved. So unless Bitcoin and crypto go on a massive run, when this happens, the actual rewards are even going to go down from there. What's interesting interesting with this project in particular is that it's always about the forex trading which doesn't have any impact on whether the market is bullish or whether the market is bearish it's always finding these opportunities regardless and you don't have a lot of money in these different miners so it's a very interesting project i'm not in it yet it reminds me a lot about goofy gophers but instead of mining it's really this forex trading and it sounds absolutely ridiculous in my mind that a bot can make this much money per month but i've seen crazier shit and personally i'm just waiting to see if they can continue to get this trend of great rewards back to their holders now two more projects that i want to cover here one is old money point two bills they're still minting their pesos which didn't really go well guys i think they sold like 1200 uh, because the mint price was 400 which was pretty steep now, their actual 0.2 bills uh, went all the way down to like 250 or 300 because of this, and now they're back up to 400. Now, these guys are builders. I'm not really sure what exactly they're going to do with the pesos, if they're going to split the mint. I think that's all still being decided right now, but I think that old money in general is a project worth paying attention to, and maybe this is a decent time to buy or get into the project simply because of all the, you know, kind of FUD, not necessarily FUD, but just like the mint not going its way with this with its pesos so pay attention to it maybe their pesos are even the better buy if they decide to close the mint um but yeah something to pay attention to as of right now the last project that I wanted to bring up today is going to be Ada Inmates. And the reason I'm bringing these guys up is they announced their final mint, which is their sales mint. And that's actually going to happen sometime in this next month. It's a one-to-one -one whitelist if you own one of these inmates, I believe. And let me just see what my notes are here. Uh, I believe there's going to be 5,750 of these cells, which means some are going to be in the whitelist that aren't holders. The snapshot is going to happen in May. It's a one-to-one -one whitelist for these inmates and it's going to be less than 130 ADA, but the mint price hasn't been decided yet. And these inmates are going to basically be attached to the cells, very similar to the Ape Society cabins. Now, the floor price of these actual inmates isn't that high right now in the grand scheme of things. So I am worried about just dilution with now having another mint when their current project doesn't, very, doesn't really have a high enough floor right now. But I think that mint is something worth paying attention to. And I think ADA inmates, could be a sleeper play in general. So I'm going to keep my eyes on it. They've been holding this low listing very well. Their community is strong. Their A to 4 is upheld very well during this bear market as well. But I just think they have a hard time getting new people into the project or paying attention to it. And now all of a sudden, if you have this additional mint, these could go down even lower. So definitely pay attention to this project. I think there's going to be some opportunity here either to scoop up ADAM inmates for cheaper or potentially to get those cells even cheaper cheaper depending on what they do with their mint if i'm them you do a cheap mint i don't know what their expenses are but i do a cheaper mint of like 60 ada and then that way these inmates actually go crazy because that whitelist is pretty much like a no-brainer to go for if they go for something like 130 ada it does worry me because that's about 70 80 percent of their current floors with the inmates and then with those cells it isn't that special it's not like a whole entire pfp thing it's more like the cabins which generally do worse right so definitely pay attention to 
it. I haven't bought anything right now, but it's on my radar. That pretty much wraps up this update. And just a couple things before we go, if you're someone who wants to support the channel a little bit, make sure that you're staking your stake pool to BIG. Uh, we have around 800 and 900,000 ADA in there. And I really want us to try to get it up so we can start solving a lot more blocks more consistently. So if you're someone that finds a lot of enjoyment in the channel and you're not staking anywhere, your ADA, or if you want to stake your ADA somewhere else, uh, definitely check out BIG. That would greatly help the channel. Also check out Jelly Cubes if you're looking for different alpha plays and opportunities like that snake token that I brought up earlier. And if not, thank you guys just for subscribing or just simply watching my videos. I know the market is tough right now, so I really appreciate all the views and engagement and likes and all that stuff for the videos. And uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps things up. Hope you guys have an awesome day and thank you once again.